Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to y equals the natural log of x. And if we differentiate it, it's given in textbooks and formula sheets that dy dx equals 1 over x. And what I want to do here is not prove to you this result, but just show you how we can work with it. Okay, now let's just suppose then that we had, say, y equaled 2 plus the natural log of x, and we're asked to find dy by dx. Then, according to the formula that we've got here, if we differentiate the constant 2, that goes to 0, but we've got another term here, natural log of x, and if we differentiate it, we're just going to get 1 over x. Now, that's all very well, but... Uh, what happens if we have a constant multiplying the natural log of x? So if we have a constant multiplying any function of x, let's say we call it a, when it comes to differentiating, we should know that all we need to do is multiply that constant with the differential of our function of x. So a times 1 over x is going to be exactly the same as a over x. So if we had, for instance, y equaled, say, 5 minus 2 times the natural log of x, then when it comes to differentiating this, dy by dx would equal, well, for our constant here, that goes to 0, but the constant here is minus 2 multiplied by the natural log of x. So you're just going to get the constant, which is minus 2, over x bring the minus way out the front, so you just get minus 2 over x. Now, it doesn't have to be y equals a function of x. It can be any other function. It could be s, say. s equals 2 times the natural log of, say, t, all divided by 3. And if we get this, then I see this as the same as 2 thirds multiplied by the natural log of t. So when it comes to working out ds by dt, then we're going to have two-thirds multiplied by the differential of natural log of t, which will be two-thirds times one over t, which is going to give us two over three t. Now I've got an example here that uses this idea of differentiating the natural log of x. It's this one that is about finding the coordinates of the stationary point on the curve y equals 3 quarters x minus 3 times the natural log of x all over 4. So if you'd like to have a go at this, then just give you a moment, do pause the video, come back when you're ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all then, to get a stationary point, that's where dy by dx would equal 0. So what I'm going to do then is just write down this equation first of all. We've got y equals 3 quarters x. And instead of writing minus 3 times the natural log of x over 4, I'm going to write that as minus 3 quarters times the natural log of x. So when it comes to differentiating this, we've got therefore dy by dx is going to equal, well, the differential of 3 quarters x is just simply 3 quarters. And when it comes to differentiating minus 3 quarters natural log of x, we're going to have the constant minus 3 quarters times 1 over x when you differentiate natural log of x. So that comes together as minus 3 over 4x. Now we know that at the stationary point, okay, I'll just abbreviate this, I'll just write at stat point, okay, we know that dy by dx, the gradient, would equal 0. So therefore, what we've got is 3 quarters minus 3 over 4x must equal 0. And if I multiply throughout by 4x, to all the terms, then what I'm going to have is 3x 
here, okay. And then for this next term, it will be just simply minus three, and that will equal zero. And if we rearrange this, three x would equal three, and therefore x would equal one. Now we need to get our y coordinate, so therefore when x equals one, we can see that y would equal three quarters times one, so that's just going to be three quarters. And then you've got minus three quarters times the natural log of one. Minus three quarters times the natural log of one. Now the natural log of one is zero. So you're going to have just simply three quarters. Therefore, y is going to equal three quarters. So therefore, our stationary point, let's just finish it off. The stationary point is going to have coordinates. The x-coordinate is 1, and the y-coordinate is 3 quarters. Now, not that you necessarily need to know the graph, but this is the graph of y equals 3 quarters x minus 3 natural log of x all over 4. And you can see that stationary point here at the point 1 and 3 quarters up. Okay, well I hope that's given you an idea then on how we can differentiate y equals a constant times the natural log of x. dy dx then equals that constant over x.